Hi there, welcome back. The Essential Outline Effect is one of my favorite templates. It's a very handy tool whenever a border or an outline is required. Not only can it be applied to regular shapes, like rectangles and ellipses, but also can be used on irregular shapes, like person cutouts, logos and objects of any shape. It also works on green screened videos. And when the object moves or size is changed, the border also follows and automatically adjusts. For example, here is the photo in portrait format, apply the effect. Now matter how we resize the photo, the border always matches the photo size. But there are two things that bother me sometimes. The first one is these rounded corners, as you can see here. Most of the time, when adding borders to images or photos, you may want to keep the corners straight. But with this outline effect, there is no option to change that. The other thing is that the border is a bit rough, not as smooth as I would expect. Especially when it's used on non-straight shapes, like a circle here, it is very noticeable. It seems okay at first glance. But when we zoom in and look closer, there is a thin black line between the shape and the border. So I spent some time rebuilding the effect, here is what we can do with the new version. Make a copy of the previous circle and put it on the track above. Delete the old effect. Arrange the two circles side by side on the screen so we can compare. Apply the new outline effect. Right away, we can see the differences. With the new version, the outline connects to the shape seamlessly. Similarly, we duplicate the photo and put it on the top. Remove the existing effect. Move them beside each other for comparison. Apply the new effect to the image on the top. As the default, the corners are rounded. But if we go to the inspector, we can change the outline filter to box to have straight corners. Or change the outline width to a negative value, which sets the border inside the image and also gives us straight corners. In addition to these two improvements, the new outline effect now supports different color types, such as gradient colors. This enables lots of potential to create unique borders. For example, we can set the gradient type to angle. Adjust the colors and angles to give the border a bit of 3D look. Another new feature is the built-in soft glow support. Once it's enabled, we can adjust these settings to glow the border. OK, these are the changes made in the new effect, and you can download the template with the link in the description below. Next I'm going to show you how this effect is made in the Fusion page. Make a copy of the photo for the demo. Delete the existing effect. For this demo, let's convert it to a compound clip, so it will use the timeline result as the media input when it's opened in the Fusion page. To switch to the Fusion page, we can either click this Fusion button on the page navigation bar, or right-click the clip and choose the command from the menu. Alt-click on the connection line to add a pipe router. Click the background to unselect nodes. Press Shift Space to open the tool selection window. Find and insert a road dilate node into the editor. Link the pipe router to the erode node. Drag a background node from the toolbar to the editor. Connect the erode dilate node to the background as effect mask input. Drag the background node into the left side viewer, and we see a black box which is the result masked by the image input. Change the background color to white, we will use it as the default outline color. Press F2 to rename the node to outline. Select the erode dilate node 
and go to the inspector. Change the filter to circle. Increase the amount to 0.01. This expands the mask by the given amount. And we can see the size change in the left side viewer as we change the amount. When the amount is set to negative, it erodes the image and shrinks the size. When it's positive, it dilates and expands the image. This will be used to control the width of the border. Drag the output of the outline node to the pipe router output. Once the mouse button is released, a merge node is automatically inserted to merge the outline output with the main process tree. Now the result becomes a white box because the white outline node is merged as the foreground input. The default merge operator is over, which sets the foreground input as the layer on the top. We can change the operator to under to bring the original image back to the top. This creates a white border, and it's perfect for many use cases. But if we want to create a border within the current image, this mode will not work. We will do something different to achieve the border. So let's reset it back to the default operator, over. Click the editor background to unselect nodes. Press shift space to open the tool selection window. Find and insert a bitmap node to the editor. Connect the pipe router output to the bitmap. Make a copy of the bitmap node and paste to the editor. Connect the erode output to the new bitmap node. Link the first bitmap to the second one as effect mask input. Replace the mask of the outline node with the output from the second bitmap. Select the second bitmap node. In the inspector, change the paint mode to invert. Now we have the image with a white border. Select a road dilate node. Change the filter to box. The corners turn into straight ones. The box mode is good for rectangle shapes. For other shapes, it could produce some uneven outlines. For instance, add an ellipse mask to the media in node. You can see the border on the side, the width is not even. In this case, we should use the circle filter instead. If we change the amount to negative, the border is now created inside the image instead of expanding outwards. The border maintains the exact shape of the object, like the sharp corners. OK, we have completed a basic outline effect, we can now select all the nodes except the media in and media out node. Right click and create macro. Enter a name for the macro. Select the filter parameter, an X amount, Change to Outline Width. In the Outline section, select the basic color parameters. Go to the Option menu, choose Save as Group. Save the macro to the Effect Template folder, as shown on the screen. Close the Macro Editor, and go back to the Edit page. If you don't see the new effect in the Effect panel, restart the DaVinci Resolve. Once the template is available, apply it to a clip in the timeline. Open the Effects tab in the Inspector. We can see all the parameters we selected when creating the macro. Changing the filter to box can set the corner to straight. We can easily change the size of the border. Or change the border color. If you want to know how other features are made in the Essential Outline template effect, you can always open it in the Fusion page and look through the node process tree. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.